Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love. Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this week's cleaning video, I have literally got so much cleaning motivation for you. It is jam-packed, literally. I started with this craft cupboard and there is an actual story behind me starting this video actually. And it's a bit of, bit of mum guilt, you know, a bit of... Uh, Basically, we started our morning and I realised that Harrison didn't have a crown. We had to make a crown, like a craft crown, uh, for school on this particular day. I was silly and really thought that the school was doing it. So the school kept messaging saying we can't wait to see his crown, you know, for the coronation. And... Um, turns out we were supposed to make it so on this morning um i had about 15 minutes to try and get muster together a crown so i managed to find the cardstock that i had from the cricket my cricket stuff and i cut up some sort of crown but when i came to this craft cupboard i literally couldn't even see anything in it as you can see it's an absolute mess and i felt so stressed and i thought you know what why is this craft cupboard like this? And it had, I literally was looking for like some jewels and it had none. So basically when I dropped him off at school on this morning, I realized that I needed to get my mum life together and get to the shops, get some new craft bits and get some new things to organize this cupboard like I've been wanting to for so long, but I've just been putting off. And yeah, that's why you'll see the see-through drawers and all of that, which by the way, I got from b &M. But yeah, let's get on with this cleaning video. This is a very long intro, but this get on, that's the backstory to why I'm doing my mum guilt, mum life clean with me today. So yeah, I hope you get a lot of cleaning motivation out of today's video and yeah, clean along with me. Let's get it done. So by the way, taking the labels and stickers off of these um, clear drawers was a really long process. This makes me look like I've done it really quickly and all of that, but I've got to say it took me a good hour to get all the stickers off. It was a joke. Um, but yeah, I got these, like I said, I got these drawers from B&M. They were £4 each for the deeper ones, and then I've got the thin ones, which I'm showing now, which I'm putting the pens in. They were £3 each. Definitely get yourself to B&M because you couldn't find these unless it was like the ones in John Lewis. Like if you notice from, a, if you've ever watched a cleaning video of mine before, I bought some from John Lewis and they were very, very expensive. This is such a bargain for what you're getting and you can pick drawer by drawer. So I found the deeper ones in the kitchen section and the slimmer ones were actually in the storage section of my store. So definitely look around the entire store and don't miss out the kitchen um, aisle if you're looking for these drawers I found them and pretty much cleared the shelf because I had an idea I had a vision I wanted to get this craft cupboard 
like sorted I wanted it to be easily accessible and I just wanted to draw for like every craft because this is what I could have been doing with this morning when I was really rushing to try and make this crown look amazing for my son um, so yeah definitely recommend checking out these in b &M if you can find them so don't go changing you're perfect as you are just the way you are keep on shining you're perfect as you are We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame We own the game So Olivia was actually napping in the, the pram. She'd been playing whilst I was doing that cupboard and then she'd fallen asleep in the pram. So this is real mum life for you. And um, when I'm cleaning and tidying, I do it around the baby, of course. So I'm constantly wheeling her around if she's having a nap in the pram or if she's upstairs, then I'm trying to be quiet downstairs whilst I'm cleaning. But yeah, this at this moment, she just fell asleep. So I thought, you know what? I'll just leave her in a pram. Um, it 
gives me a chance to get the rest of the living room finished before the kids because the other kids were going to be due home in the next half an hour so i just wanted to give it a quick spruce in the living room before i finished sorting it out for the day if i don't get you shoddy you bring out the sweetness of my life oh yeah come on and give me that give me that give me that good good loving come on and show me that show me that show me that you're the one i move to the left while you move to the right while you try to fight just come on and give me that give me that give me that good good loving give me that 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 good good loving first you wanna come around then you say you're leaving town everything is upside down oh baby i love you Okay, now moving on to the next day. My kitchen was oh, such a terrible state. I actually really wanted to get this done on the same day you see, the, the, the day before when I did the craft cupboard. But I ran out of time, you know, I'm working around the baby as well. I can't do, sometimes I can't do more rooms than one or one one thing at a time, like a cupboard. Um, but on this day, I managed to get the kitchen done. It was just, do you know what? It was just like, I've never, really cleaned or sorted it out um so yeah i just wanted to get stuck in so i literally a couple of hours in this kitchen really did the world of good for it i've got to say where you gonna leave when i need you the most wherever you go i'll be there you know don't be a stranger don't be a ghost oh i don't feel right when i dance alone i don't feel right when you don't come home i miss your body and i love you so baby i do baby i do
just wanna look into your eyes You know you make me feel like I'm alive Okay, so let me know in the comments, what are the two main cleaning jobs that is done in your house pretty much every single day? Obviously, there's a few more than probably two, but I'm talking about two big ones. So for me, I would say empty, emptying and loading the dishwasher is a daily occurrence. It, you can't go a day with, I can't go a day without doing it. And the other thing has got to be the laundry, the washing. I've always got a load on and a load coming off, you know, folding, putting away. It is literally my day-to-day -day life, as I've said before, and it is every, most people's lives. But yeah, what is the main thing? Like, other than those two things, let's, or, or is that your two things that you do every single day? I've just, I've just been literally thinking about it myself, and I'm like, they're the two things that I do every single day without foul. And it's one of those things I also think if I only get those things done, then it's okay because I feel like we always need clothes to wear and we always need clean dishes to eat off of. So that's why I don't mind that I sort of give myself those two main jobs. If I don't get anything else done, then I'm absolutely fine. I give myself credit for at least getting those done, basically.
So believe it or not, I actually clean this coffee machine out quite a lot. You won't believe it with what you just saw and what you're about to see. It is, gets so filthy in all of like the grill bits and the bit that holds the empty coffee. Obviously, it's coffee spilling in it. That's why and that's all it is. I literally clean this out quite a lot and you just wouldn't think it. You just would not think it. It was filthy, but it's actually quite a satisfying job as well because it gets really, really dirty really quickly and, it, and it's just satisfying to see something go from being quite dirty to clean isn't it so yeah uh, but at the same time it just gives me another job to clean and I don't really <laughs> but yeah never mind Okay, this window was the only one in the kitchen I cleaned on this day just because it was the one that needed doing the most and I didn't know if I was going to get time to do it all because of the baby and things like that. So I just thought at least if I get this one done because I've been looking at it and it's been driving me up the wall for weeks. Basically, whenever we do the baby's bottles and sort of like shake it, I, if I shake it near the sink and it's hot and it sort of spills out, you know, from the tea, nine times out of ten, it goes up my window. So literally I have milk splashes all over my window that I just hadn't cleaned and it was really driving me up the wall because I kept thinking like when the window cleaner come, I was thinking that he must think, what is that on your on your window though, like inside, why don't you just clean it? I just never got around to it. So I wanted to do that. So I was concentrating on that and whilst I did that, I then realised that the um, when I pulled down the blind, I was like, oh my goodness, I've not cleaned this blind for ages either. And obviously this blind in particular will have grease on it because it's near the cooker and all the cooking things. Um, so as you can imagine, it's a nightmare to clean and it's probably why I've put it off. But I realised that I done, I just made a school boy error by cleaning the window first. But at least I got the dirt off, you know, from the milk and stuff. And then I went ahead and done the, the blind. But it took me so long. It doesn't look like it was long in this video. But it took me so long because you can imagine, like I said, it was like grease and dust stuck together. It was disgusting. I would have preferred to have been able to take a blind like this off. I don't know how to and I'm a bit scared to. Take this blind, like if I was in my old job when I was a cleaner, we used to take the blinds off the wall if it was too much and put them in the bath. And that's a good tip for you, by the way, if you can do that. I'm too scared to do it with these ones because I have never worked out how you just unclip them and I'm scared I'll break them. If I do work it out, I will be doing it in future because it drives me up the wall with these blinds, um, cleaning them individually, um, especially when you're like me and you leave them for a while because, you know, you can't get your life together and all that.
fire, put it out with water, but now you're drowning. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying. By the way, really rate this elbow grease cream cleaner, just to let you know. You know me, I usually use Sif or uh, the pink stuff, but I found this one. It's a limited edition, I believe, and I thought I'll give it a go. And I really loved it on the Cooker Hob, as you see me using it earlier. And I did love it on the sink as well. So, yeah, definitely worth trying that out um, if you do see it, because I actually really liked it. I preferred it than Sif, I'll be honest. Okay, if you remember in my last video, I was talking about the Spanish cleaners. This one here is amazing. It's actually a floor cleaner, I believe, um, but I put it also in the sink um, and put hot water on it. And you can imagine the steam. That, see that steam? That smell was delicious and it made my entire kitchen smell amazing. And you know me, I love to clean in basically smells is what drives me to clean so if it smells really nice it will make me carry on because i just love the scent and basically this scent is a really like it's almost like a laundry like a really strong laundry scent and you know me love that as well um so yeah i'll leave the link below it's little um my little spanish company is where i got it from something like that i linked it in my last one but yeah i'll try and link it again if um you were interested and talking about laundry i'm again going on to emptying off the laundry off of this um, heater by the way I will try and link this one as well um, of where I got this one from this heater because a lot of people do ask me and it does save my, me so much time uh, doing my laundry especially with being a family of five now and constantly got baby washing and just constantly got washing it does make a difference to have this heater plus the clothes source maiden whatever you want to call it which I you also use with a de dehumidifier is that what it's called um, as you know and I also have the option to then use my tumble dryer as well it makes life so much easier when you are I don't know when you're just busy you've got constantly got washing I mean if I don't have all of those things then it will take me so long but yeah I'll let you know in the comments uh, where that heat is from and I'm gonna be basically loading it all back up and again loading up the clothes also made in or whatever you call it um, and going again basically
so underneath like the bottom of my table gets really filthy because of people's shoes and things like that so when they're leaning their feet on it and things like that so I just really wanted to get down clean it with my hands and knees <laughs> you know what I mean um, and basically just clean all underneath it and around on the floor it's just so much better before I put the mop on as well um because you know me I do prefer to clean the floors like this obviously I didn't clean the entire floors like this in the end but you just get so much more like up if you do it like this um it's very old-fashioned old school um but yeah i do prefer doing it like that here is the roma limpia um spanish floor cleaner going straight in my mop bucket straight with the hot water and we're getting the floors done and can i just say it smells amazing for hours it's so strong i know i keep heating it up like going on about it but honestly i love it so much and yeah you need to get some this is not an ad but you still need to get some i'm just saying I don't think I've seen my kitchen look like this since pre-Olivia, just saying. But yeah, that's all I had time to clean today. Um, I hope you got lots of cleaning motivation and cleaned along with me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye. Every glimpse of you deserves me. You're all I think about sometimes. But baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna wait.